Don't you just hate it when your ice cream melts? It's melting! Well, now you don't have to worry, because this team of Japanese scientists found a solution. Is that a bear with a popsicle stick in his mm -hmm. butt? Looks Why? like a fudgesicle. Could they have like done this with like without the face of a bear? <laughs> There's only one place in Japan that currently does this, and we don't believe it. So I guess they're doing the pull-out test. It's kind of like a colonoscopy, right? So we're gonna make our own ice creams with the same method to see if it stands up to the heat. <laughs> Before we begin, I just wanna remind you guys of our second channel. Right now, we are currently trying to find the best pizza in Italy. We'll also be trying McDonald's Italy, KFC, the big and tasty from the UK, food at Pandora. Remember, the channel's called JP and Julia. Why not Julia and JP? Oh, it's alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Yeah. J-U-J-P. So the secret in making the ice cream not melt, polyphenol. Basically, it's the pure form of the nutrients that come out of strawberries and some other berries and nuts. It's good for you. It's high energizing. It's actually a dietary supplement. We're going to get the other thing that has a lot of polyphenol in it. So I think that this is one of the main ingredients that they use at the restaurant in Japan. So you can just take these as like a dietary thing? It gives you energy or something like that. Give me one right now. You gotta open up these capsules. Oh, mm, it's good. Come on, baby. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Well, we're doing it anyways. You're tampering with pharmaceuticals. Oh my god. On the bottle it says you should be taking three a day. Does it have beta carotene? I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't know what that is? What is it? I don't know. Looks like wheat germ. It has vitamin A, C, D, E. F, G, H, I, J, K, <laughs> elemental P. Got copper, magnesium, zinc, chromanium, potassium, alpha lipical acetate, muscular synergy complex. Okay. You're not gonna eat like a bunch of popsicles at once, are you? Yeah. Three cups of milk, half a cup heavy cream, two thirds cup sugar. That's pudding. Yeah. I love the pudding pop. So now we're gonna put in our secret ingredient. How many are in that? Six. What's this doing? Give me that. And it's done. All right, so we got our containers. We're gonna do two with just the polypropylene. No, it's called polyphenol. Polyphenol, it's got phenol in it? This is the polyphenol only, so let's write P on here. So I'm just gonna pour in some strawberry extract, probably about a tablespoon. So I just wanna make sure that it activates with the cream. It's gonna taste like strawberry chocolate. This is the strawberry version, or just like the other, we can just call it other. Okay, the other version. Good call. All right. We'll see you in a couple hours. Maybe this one needs to get full a little Whoop. bit more. <laughs> Guys, we need to make ice cream. I don't know what Julia made. Vegan something, right? Was it vegan? I got my bowl right here. Got my catalyst, very important. I use six of these. Two cups of heavy cream, two cups of milk, three quarters cup sugar going in. I'm gonna add the wheat germ. Wheat germ going in. Dude, this already smells horrible. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Grab another bowl, and then just pour half of it in there. Half. For this one, we're gonna add a tablespoon of the strawberry extract. Red food dye. Let's see which one doesn't melt as fast as it normally melts. Is that what we're trying to figure out? This is JP's thing. I think this is the strawberry flavored one. Kinda looks disgusting. Low and slow, guys. So, guys, it has been a whole day. We have four test subjects. It is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and I gotta suit up. This one mine? Is it yours? Am I got I Julia's. We're ready to go. You look good. Currently 1022. That looks like ice cream. We gotta try it. Just one scoop, right? One scoop. That looks like it's melting, I'm not gonna lie. I think you just pull them out. I suck at this. Switch. <gasps> Julia's popsicles didn't work, so we're going the scoop route. We need one more, Ben and Jerry's. Just polyphenol, just polyphenol. Strawberry, strawberry, and then in the center, we got Ben and Jerry's. All right guys, we're gonna check this in 10 minutes, see where it's at. All right, it's been 10 minutes. It's not melting. Oh my God, look at yours. The imitation extract didn't help. I think it probably watered it down. 10 more minutes. Ten more minutes. Let's go. We got some meltage. Ooh. You couldn't put ten more minutes on? Yeah, I want to see how much it melts. So 
over an hour. This is kind of still keeping a form. That's pudding. It's, <laughs> that's what you made. So you know what we just discovered? How to make a McDonald's milkshake. <laughs> kind of tastes like vanilla ice cream, but I can taste a little bit of the vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's got like a very vitamin-y flavor to it. It's like the aftertaste. It's yeah, like, oh, I don't, vitamin. yeah. Cause this has got strawberry extract, right? It seems like it's melting though. That one's better. I like it cause of the strawberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try your pudding pop. What do you think? I like the taste of that. Mm, pretty good. I don't taste the uh, vitamins. Oh, I even like the strawberry one. I just like chocolate. Julia actually won on taste here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, JP, we did it. We made ice cream that doesn't melt. It's melting! <laughs> I guess it does melt. At least it doesn't melt as fast as other ice cream does. No, oh, it's not working. And if it was in a cone, it would last a long time. It's melting! <laughs> That's two hours, guys. That's two hours. Wow. We're gonna let you go. Make sure to smash this video with a thumbs up if you like the Test Kitchen segment. And we're gonna keep that thing sitting there all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. we'll see what it looks like. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm watching you. Oh my god, that's freaking gross. I don't think that top's ever gonna melt. It's been like six hours, guys. It's maintaining the same structure. I will never want to eat that. But you're gonna eat it because you like vanilla. No, I'm pretty sure this dairy product sitting out for six hours is not good. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs>